we can conclude that india is in a very serious problem and most importantly our people are facing lot of humiliation atrocity and violation to both the ruled party and the ruling party try to implement the same ideology of brahmanism there is a competition in the implementation of the brahmanical ideology as brahmanism sows its poison seeds throughout the nation similarly the conservatives are doing the work to kill the poisonous seeds and give the new resistance and immunity people in congress bjp and communist party are allergic to see about conservatism we are assembled here to continue to work left by where the great bhagwan passes to us brahmin will show you a greedy for money will try to push you into the power greedy will stimulate a desire for women which you should be should be very careful about be an open like book like periyar and kanchiram if not you will be forced to stay under a house arrest like maya would may the jesus prophet nabi lord buddha mahavir guru nanak ravidas or kabir followed any religion but all the adv- advice they gave to the people has turned to the religion but manusruti is a political philosophy it became a religious philosophy too christians muslims jain buddhist sikh and dalit in india today are the ones who ran away from the religion to ensure their self respect and dignity we have to use all the media weapons to propagate who is doing various ideological crime against our bahujan dravida community in india before introducing your friends explain who is your ideological enemy we should uphold equality fraternity freedom and justice at the present situation those who oppose these doctrines are our enemies the capitalist without the brahmanical mind they are not enemy to us if we share about our problems they too will come and fight for us whereas according to the indian social system only the vaisyas has right to hold money and can be capitalized to do until the hinduism is live social structure will be live and the people will be enslaved our common enemy might oppress the people and think about how to exploit everything words like equality fraternity freedom justice are all words were for our enemies our common enemy is brahmin baniya crowd here after we call them as a bbs our enemy is not the muslim our enemy is not the sikh our enemy is not the jat dalits are not our enemies your enemy is not the obcs your enemy is the bbs Congress, Communists, and BJP, even Aam Aadmi Party are their control. Culturally, the Sikh, the Christian, Muslims, and Buddhists in India are the people who fought culturally against the ideology of the Brahminism. Those who believe in Sarvajan doctrine do not know who are their enemies. You you have to reach such a people and tell them who is your enemy. you find difficult to identify your enemy that's what you are struggling to identify your friends i think this is the first brotherhood meeting of the bahujan dravida stage in india after the death of manavar kanchiram when brahmins discuss about their politics why do why they do not allow any shudra to participate the same mechanism you to you too should follow we should not allow brahmins when we discuss about our politics and also you have to understand about the difference between the brahmins and our people also 
Brahmins are united in doing the evils, but we people are divided in doing well. Good. Brahmins do not compromise on ideology, but we compromise on ideology and seek the center of Brahmins. Brahmins solve their own problem, but we think that Brahmins should solve our problem. We will be united in ideology. We will not compromise on our Bhagujan Brahmin ideology. We will solve our problem ourselves. Let us assure ourselves that we do not need any Brahmin intermediator. Through this conference, I am obliged to answer to the 130 crore Dravian people in India. I want to say that. There have been two types of grassroots revolution which took place in India. One is Dalit revolution and other is the Bhagujan revolution. Dalit revolution was the voice of the rights of the downtrodden people who are facing the atrocity and discrimination in India in the name of the caste. The Bhagujan revolution, which was the struggle to cheese the ruling power from the hands of the microscope of media. The Bhagujan revolution was introduced by Manavar Kanshara. We the people of the native Indians have chosen the path shown by Manavar Kanshara. This footpath is called as a Kanshiramism. Kanshiramji ideology transformed the people who are only asking for the reservation rights to think to become the ruler. Kanshiram who struggled, who qualified the struggle for self-rule from the struggle of self-respect. We call this as a Kanshiramism. It was Kanshiram who taught the leaders of the liberation movement to include the qualities inculcate the qualities like simplicity, poverty, sacrifice, determination, humility, contribution and participation and this is called as Kanshira, Kanshiramism. It was Kanshiram who taught the socially, economically and culturally crippled people of India that yes, we can. And Kanshiram proved it. That's what we are calling it as a Kanshiramism. The majority people of India did not know politically principled enemy. Kanshiram was the one who taught Aryans as enemies and Dravidians as a friend. Politically, this is what we call Kanshiramism. Kanshiram was the one who identified Aryan as autocracy and Dravidian as a democracy. That is why we are calling it a Kanshiramism. He said to end the politics of succession. He also waged a war for it and ended it. This is what we call Kanshiramism. It was Kanshiram who said fight and win so that your enemy does not rise again. This is called Kanshiramism. Let us go on and on about Kanshiramism. Manu gave the philosophy to enslave the people, but Kanshiram has given the philosophy. The philosophy is like a Guru Granth Sahib, Bible, Quran. Kanshiram is the philosophy that has been developed by considering the ideas of Bhagujun Dravida enlightened gurus and bhagats in India. The goal of Kanshiram is that. The goal of Kanshiram is our country should ruled should be ruled by the Dravidians of the Dravidians and for the Dravidians on the land of Dravidians. To achieve the goal of Kanshiramism, we have to participate in democracy. Political activism is the only platform to fulfill the aims of Kanshiram. If you want to participate in the democracy, vote is the only weapon to fight against the common enemy audience. What is your self-respect? At any cost, you should not sell the weapon to your core enemy. Use your word intelligently, honestly and sincerely to finish your enemy in the upcoming 2024 election.